Liquid flow detectors can be divided according to the principle of their operation. Each type of flow meters has its own characteristics and occupies its own niche in the market of flow sensors. Coriolis flow meters use the principle offered by the Frenchman Gustave Coriolis, who demonstrated that when a body moves relative to the rotating frame of reference, it is exposed to the inertial force. In Coriolis flow meters, there are vibrating tubes through which passes the fluid flow. The frequency of vibration is proportional to the mass flow of fluid. This type of flow meters is capable of working both with liquids and gases, providing high measurement accuracy. The main drawback of these sensors is their high cost. Electromagnetic flow meters use the principle that when a conductor moves in a magnetic field, electric current is generated. Therefore, it is clear that these flow meters measure only the flow of conductive liquids. However, their high accuracy resistance to severe operating conditions, the lack of pressure, drop and low cost make them indispensable when it is necessary to measure water flow of water-based fluids. These flow meters cannot measure the flow rate of non-conductive liquids, such as petroleum products. However, they suit well for the flow measurements of viscous and even paste-like substances such as yogurt and even cottage cheese. In ultrasonic flow meters for measuring the flow rate of liquids and gases, ultrasound is used. The flow rate is calculated by measuring the ultrasound propagation speed or the frequency change of ultrasonic vibrations, the so-called Doppler effect. Ultrasonic flow meters can measure the flow rate both of gases and liquids, regardless of their electrical conductivity. Vortex flow meters use the principle of flow measurement based on the fact that rounded bodies submerged into the flow of liquid appear turbulent eddies, the incidence of which is proportional to the flow rate. They have an average accuracy of measurements and do not operate when the liquid flow rate is too small. However, they are widely used, for example, to measure the flow rate of steam.